Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing great. Um, so I, I said yesterday when we talked to Pascal about this movie that it is like the epitome of those internet stories where I was like two women scorned end yes. up teaming up together. <laughs> yeah. I, and so I loved that. I was like, oh, this is perfect for the internet. Like someone on the internet's gonna be like, yeah, this is that movie we all thought would be cool to watch. Yes. Um, yeah. But I agree. It it is it is kind of a return to like the thriller-esque movies that we had in the 90s and 2000s And so for you from as a director, what it was kind of like your your thought process behind telling this story through their perspective and as a thriller, as a genre. Well, I think one of the things is to, um, um, because you, you realize that the audience is so far ahead of uh, the characters. Um, and in, it, often when, when, when we put movies together, when we put uh, television shows together, you, you try to avoid that because you keep mm -hmm. wanting, uh, there, I want this element of surprise to be there for both the audience and the characters. And in this case, you've got a secret that you know. Um, in the first five minutes of this thing, you know that that secret is there. And um, and so the audience in this case, uh, I'm not going to stop them from knowing that. What I am going to do is is keep them on the edge of their seats, wondering when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not who's the killer. Um, it's it's when is this bomb going to drop, and what's going to happen when it does. And the deeper into the movie you get, um, with these two women in in the, these these uh, you know um, uh, situations that they keep getting themselves into. You keep thinking, oh no, she still doesn't know. And then when that 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 scene happens in the bathroom, it happens very innocuously, uh, in a place where you wouldn't expect anything like that to happen. Mm -hmm. And then when when Joe has to be as 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 um, bluntly honest with it, the audience goes, oh thank goodness that's out. Now we can concentrate on who the killers are and this kind of stuff. And the interesting thing is, there's a misdirect in who the killer is, obviously. Um, which is not unusual for a thriller like this. But what I, I when I read the script um, uh, the the very first time, and it was a variation of this that that uh, that I really um, I loved when I first read the, this the script. This is what attracted me to it: is that you um, you always misdirect with the, the the killer just so that the audience doesn't go, okay, well I already know who did it. You mm -hmm. know, in this case, that's held for the almost the entire movie. And you suddenly realize, oh, it was that guy, um, and and the that guy part of it is hard to maintain because you keep thinking, well, I have to point all these fingers at everybody else, mm -hmm. and then I have to be able to say, oh, I wasn't not pointing fingers at those people because they are responsible for all of this kind of stuff, and yeah, those are bad guys, but um, but they're not bad like that guy is, um, you know, so. Uh, it it all has to tie together at the end in a thriller, and that's again that that genre that you're talking about from the um, uh, you know from the '80s, where where you would watch something like this and you'd go, okay, it can't just be that easy. Mm -hmm. And especially with these two women, um, none of it is that easy to figure out. Uh, so it just gives the audience a thrill to mm -hmm. to be able to watch and see, rather than than um, let's figure out who did it. Yeah, it is very much too, like, I like that, like, something like Fatal Attraction is being made into a TV show at the same time, mm -hmm. like, it's like those, those movies for so long used to, like, I remember growing up watching them, and now yes. I'm like, yeah, they don't really exist anymore, like, what lies beneath, there's not movies, like, what lies beneath anymore, right. but right. I do love the, like, one of my favorite aspects of this movie is the fact that, like, the, it, the man is not innocent. He does not tell either woman like what's no. going on. And so when Joe realizes, oh, he was married, the it's not her being a woman who knew what she was doing. It is no the fact that she lied and didn't tell the Sharon as soon as she knew yeah. that it is like the drama. And I like that it is that versus like, a, oh, you cheated on me. Like you knew and you cheated with my husband. Right. It's a no. You became my friend, and then didn't ever told me that this is what happened. Like, and that there's there's that great scene in in uh, Sharon's house when Sharon is cleaning it up. You know, get out of here. No, I need to tell you this. And mm -hmm. so the audience is going, yes, please. And they do it so beautifully. That scene, I love that. I love shooting that scene. I love reading that scene with both the actors because they're both like, 
oh yeah, I really have to be honest with her. And and uh, and it's like, have you ever been hit by a broom? You know, there's that that mm-hmm. that moment of of uh, where they actually have to be that honest with each other. And I love that because again, if that was two guys, they would not react the way that that uh, um, uh, that, that these two women reacted with each mm-hmm. other. And and um, you see it all the way through. You see it in in Sharon's. We're not friends. Line all the way through, and and you realize that that um, that there's a big difference between male buddy movies and female buddy movies, um, mm-hmm. and it doesn't always have to fall into that that sort of um, caper esque kind of thing. In this case, you really are rooting for that friendship, even though you know that it, 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 at some point it's going to fall apart. And when it does, and it can't, and both of them realize it really kind of can't right now because we're both in danger here. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I, I really like that that's different than any movie that I've seen for a long, long time. Yeah, you know, they get to Thelma and Louise each other uh, for a while and you're just going, mm-hmm. I'm cheering for that. I'm cheering for it. Well, yeah, and I do like that. Like. <laughs> I think I said to Pascal yesterday, yeah, the men are like there. Like they don't really like they're not that important. <laughs> like it's more like these two figuring everything out. And then like it is funny because Sharon is not paying attention to all the men being like, what is she doing here? Like right. they're hinting at her, like, why are you bringing this woman around? And right. then later she's yeah. like, no, yeah, well, she slept with my husband. Oh, well. And she's some with her. Oh, and she blatantly, when she says it so many times, especially they're in the law office and she's, yeah, well, she was banging my husband. <laughs> the, the, I, I actually wanted to cut around to all the other offices where everybody's like, what? <laughs> you know, um, it was uh, um, given time that moment would have played out a lot uh, bigger just because, uh, but Pascal did such a, a great deadpan job of saying it. Um, I, I really like the relationship and the, the two um, Javicia and Pascal sat together and dealt with each other and were were friends together all the time. I remember listening to them when they're sitting in the car um, together, listening to the uh, the thing in their ears. They were just they were falling apart laughing. Um, and and I'm going, uh, you guys remember you're not friends, right? And and both of them are like, oh yeah, no, we remember. But it it was it was something they actually had, had to uh, take real life out of it for a little bit for themselves. I do love like. We know that Javicia is a badass because she's Batwoman, but like, I do like that this movie sets up exactly why she has the skills she has, and but she's still not good at them. She's like, if I was yeah. good, I would shot that. Like I was aiming for the heads. I yeah. did, I wasn't yeah. good at it, but I like that aspect of it. And so with these two characters, though, I it did end, and I was like, oh, there could be a whole bad boys esque franchise with just these two with going this. around. Yeah. And, and to that point, I, I have to say that that uh, um, when I finished my first cut of this movie, um, you know, and sent it to the network and to the studio to take a look at, um, they both came back and went, eh, she's too good at fighting. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And and it was funny because the, the, the stunt coordinator said the same thing to me on the day. Um, I, I knew that I wouldn't have to teach Javisi how to do any of the stuff that we were doing. I had to dial it back on the day. Um, and I know that that uh, um, our stepmen were like, okay, yeah, if you come at me with the elbow and the knee, um, I'm not going to get back up. <laughs> and she's like, okay, yeah, I can dial back one or the other. You got either the knee or the elbow. And it was very fun. And Javicia loves the, uh, doing the fighting on her own. And uh, every time I suggested something, I said, okay, well, we, we have uh, your stunt person from Batwoman. We, we brought her in. Um, you know, and I said, uh, we'll use her to do this. And, and Javisi's like, nah, I'm good. I can do it. Nah, I'm good. And she did everything. And eventually, um, because uh, there was the, the one, I don't even think you see it anymore, that, that she did this massive jump down um, mm-hmm. off the stairs um, uh, when they're chasing them outside. Um, and I had to dial that back again because everybody's going, well, we're, we're kind of looking at a Batwoman move here. And she said, not supposed to be that good at it. So that was fun. I I love it. Um, thank you so much for talking today. I really appreciate it. And um, uh, yeah, listen, if there, if you guys want to do like a, a woman scorn series for these two women, just I would love go it. Go to I town. Yes. And these two would, would embrace it like nobody's business. So <laughs> thank you, Rachel. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great one. Okay. Bye. Bye.